All right, continuing our experiment. Uh, I came across the idea of taking a signal whip and being able to convert it to a snake whip. For all you two-hand whip throwers that are buying whips in pairs, uh, a three-foot signal whip uh, is a three-foot snake whip because you add the fall to it. That's the, really the only difference. And normally a snake whip's finished with a fall hitch, but I got the idea, well, what if you took a signal whip that was finished with an English eye? This is a, finished with a very petite English eye. It's a little three foot uh, budget boudoir whip by Mojave Outliers. And what would happen if you added a fall, uh, a fairly short, petite fall. In fact, for this experiment, I wish this fall was even more petite than it is. But, let's go with what we got. So I took one of the budget boudoir signals and I took the cracker off and added about a 12 inch fall to it. So what happens? Is that gonna end up being an adequate snake whip when you do that type of conversion. Now let's put a cracker on it, if we can, and see, see what we got. I tried it with a four foot Peter Jack signal, which ends up making the snake whip, it, it, it converts to a four foot snake, but it's actually like five, five and a half foot total length and it was just a little bit too long for a snake thrown in the dungeon, in my opinion. Uh, I prefer a three foot snake and that's what I carry in my toy bag. So a three foot signal converted to a three foot snake is exactly what I throw in my toy bag. So how is that gonna throw as a snake? Okay. Well, I can tell you uh, it's tip heavy. Uh, part of that is because that fall is a little bit thicker than what I would like. I would want one that's cut much more petite. Uh, the other aspect of this is this is a budget boudoir build. If this was a regular signal whip build and it had a single belly in it, then the rollout would be much better and in my opinion, that actually would be an acceptable conversion. So, um, it is what it is. I wouldn't do it uh, with this whip, the budget boudoir, but if this had been Mojave Outlier's normal signal build, uh, with the head of belly, and my fall was cut a little more petite than this one, uh, that's a viable conversion. Uh, that's something to keep in the back of your head as you're looking at buying match sets and you want to save a little money, you buy a, a quality match set of signals finished with an English eye and then you have a very petite, petitely cut fall to be able to convert that signal to uh, a snake whip for those of you that love throwing snake whips. I love throwing a snake because of the flow, the fall adds to the action of the whip. Uh, is that whip that's convert, uh, a converted signal into a snake ever gonna perform as well as a snake that's finished with a fall hitch? In my opinion, no, it won't. But when you if you're throwing two hand, Florentine, uh, and you're just doing contact play, uh, it, it will suffice, and it's a budget consideration uh, as you continue your leather journey. Uh, we just did it as an experiment. I gave you my feedback on the experiment and what I thought about it, uh, and you, you please leave your comments in the comments below and, uh, and take it 
for what it is. As always, thanks for watching Whoops in the Dungeon.